What's up guys, Ryan from Pine Pass here at Outlaw Brewing in Bozeman, Montana, our hometown. This is one of our favorite breweries. We're starting out back at their new extended patio and Ty Basil's back here. We need to get lunch. So we're gonna get a foundation of lunch from their awesome food truck and then we're gonna head in for the beers, talk to Todd and Julian. We're excited to do it. First off, let's eat. I'm getting beef fa before my beers, which I'm pretty stoked about. This lunch is awesome. I'm gonna finish this up. We're gonna go inside and try some beers and go see what Todd's up to. Hey, uh, lunch was awesome. We're up here, met up with Todd. We're excited to check out the place. Todd, how's it going? Going great, man. Thanks Good. for coming yeah, out. Yeah, thanks for having us, man. Appreciate it. So you're the owner, president, janitor, what are you? Uh, you're all of it, right? Yeah, I'm all those things. Uh, my wife and I started the brewery, uh, started out in Belgrade in about 500 square feet where we shared space. Back then we had a two barrel system that I got our steam kettle from Salvation Army for $300. <laughs> oh, no which way. was, uh, yeah, cornerstone of our brewery. We've been growing leaps and bounds since then. Went from about 500 square feet to almost 10,000 square feet in this wow. building. When you moved in here, you added a canning line as well, right? We did, yeah. We added a canning line. One of the things I wanted to do is uh, have a cooler that ran on ambient air. So we were able to cool our, uh, our refrigerator off about eight months out of the year. What really makes this place special for, for me is that we built so much of it ourselves. It's such a labor of love from top to bottom. And almost all of my staff's been here from the beginning and so many of them helped us sand tables and lay tile and do things that most brewers aren't forced to do. Oh okay. God, that's awesome. <laughs> I'd like to catch up with Julian and see what he's brewing. And I'd love to head down to the floor. Can we go check out what else you got downstairs? That'd be great. Cool. What's up, Julian? Hey, Ryan, how are you doing? Good, man, good to see you. You too. I'm the lead brewer here at Outlaw Brewing. Um, I'm in charge of production and get the beer into your glass. Very cool. And you have a 10 barrel system, We correct? do. Yes. And then double size fermenters. Exactly, so we have five 20 barrel fermenters right now, uh, plus the 10s. And we can actually make seven barrels on our 10 barrel system, which allows us to play around a little bit. But we have a 40 barrel uh, fermenter coming next month, um, and then hopefully some more after that to keep expanding our production. Very cool. I know you're adventurous brewers. Do you have any cool beers going on right now? We are actually brewing a new revolver that's designed around pineapple, where the pineapple is added in the fermenter and properly fermented. Cool. We're gonna meet back up with Todd. Okay. And we're excited to go try some of the new ones and, and also check out the mezzanine. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Really well, appreciate enjoy. it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Tell me what I'm drinking. All right, so we got four here. Uh, we typically have 12 beers on tap. Um, so we got our Belgian Saison. Uh, we have our Goeman's Gold, it's a honey lemon ginger bragged ale. Uh, we have our Dirk, which is a Scotch ale, and then we have our Mexicali Lager. We actually have four different strains of yeast on this uh, one flight of beers. Hey, should I taste in that order, Saison first? Sure. What's been your most popular beer? The Passive Aggressive is still our most popular beer in uh, in the tasting room as well as out in the market and on draft. It was uh, a beer I stayed up many nights thinking about and um, the fact that it became our flagship beer is, is uh, I don't know, just amazing for me. That's awesome. That's it for us here at Outlaw. It's been awesome being able to sit down and talk with Todd. Thanks for the education on the beer and the backstory. Uh, Pine Pass members, come in and check out Outlaw. It's one of our favorite breweries here in Bozeman. Pine Pass members get 50 cents off your first pint, a dollar off your first crawler every day, and they're tab members, so you can text your friends beers um, and redeem them here at Outlaw. We we've invited some friends. We're gonna go have some pints with them and enjoy ourselves. Thanks for watching.